this, this one. Oh, well. All right, yeah, it is in here. The house number in my notes, but I'm I'm a look because I, yeah. I remember. You know what? I probably could pull it up. Let me see. Yeah, something. it's on that um that it's on that, that, that same damn street we've been talking about, you know, the whole time. Uh Nickel. And they and you and the shots fired on this little ass street. Everybody right. came out. Jeep is? Yeah. That? Yeah. It, that's what it looked like. Oh then it might be this one. It might be that one, but I'm 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 gonna try to see. That is the one. I'm to see no, one. because they drove. No, it's not down, but that's what it looked like. And they said, Judge, if we can find him, can we bring him in tomorrow? Yes. They said, but if he doesn't show up, can we bring him up later? And they said, that's something they'll have to, you know, agree upon. If Justin will be able to come back in after everyone's done, if they can locate him. And that should be it for the prosecution. And then for the defense, all that I'm aware of is um, Mr. Kelly which I know they brought EJ out today and then they'll do Mr. Kelly. And I know they probably got more than two witnesses, but I'm not aware of who else they have on their list. Is Tory going to testify? You know, people have been wondering. I have not heard anything about him testifying, but I don't know. I think he needs to let them just finish what they're doing, finish making a fool of their damn self and not say a word for they try to trump him up or something. They tried to add bribery charges today. Yeah, I heard I heard you mention that that they tried to charge him with uh bribery on Kelsey and Megan. Yes. The Where judge did not from? because they say Tory that Kelsey gave testimony from November for, I mean September 14th that uh is unreliable that he tried to ask them for a million dollars. They wanted to bring bribery charges up in that regard. The judge denied it promptly. And y'all just kept on working together and moving for yeah. Trying to smoke him out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They they put it out. They who else? I gotta, I want to find this this uh Sean Kelly testimony. That shit. Uh Big O, what up? What's good, bro? And uh what's the word? What you got to say on this? Um yeah, if you want to find uh Sean Kelly's testimony, just go to uh Megan kind of Twitter and go to the search bar and push Sean Kelly and everything that she uh, reported will come up. Say that again. Uh, Megan kind of, you know, the reporter that reported the guilty verdict. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, go to her Twitter and uh, push like uh, in the search bar in her Twitter profile. There's a search bar that you can use like words to search all her tweet tweets. Push yeah. Sean Kelly and it'll, it'll come up. All right, hold on, let me see. Wait, what's her what's her page? Uh, Megan Conniff. Megan Conniff. Yeah, let me uh, let me see. How you spell last name? I got you. Let me see.
Oh, I think this is it. Hold on. Oh no, that's Kelsey. Uh, her first name is spelled like this: M E G H A double N. Then uh, her last name is C U N I F F. She works for Long Crime. Uh, the, I think it, that's what it's called. Okay, I got a page. I see it. All right, let me see. Megan. Yeah. It ain't coming up. This is it. Um, um, um. Okay, I got a page. Let me just find the short. Oh, what is it? She has some more shit. What's this shit? This might be it right here. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm gonna drop you a link. The like, there's a thread that I uh, turned it into a PDF. Um, right. Yeah, I think. Yeah, this she got a lot of information on here, boy. Yeah. But yeah, that that guy is all over the place, bro. The Sean Kelly guy, right? Yeah. At yeah, first yeah. he said, at first he said, he saw two women, two women fighting. That's Megan and Kelsey. After a beat down, one girl went back into the car, and he started seeing muzzle flash. Right. At that point, he never said Tori had the gun and was shooting the gun or anything like that. Right. And, and now, he said, like after like three shots, then he seen the little guy get out on the behind the driver. He never said that in the first statement. That's what's crazy, bro. He, he never said that. He never mentioned Tory with a gun in his first statement. That's like a big. That's, that's a big event that you you have to tell him, bro. If a police officer comes into you, comes to you and said what happened, and you tell him two women fought and the woman shot the the woman shot the other girl, and you leave out Tory, that, that that tells me he might be compromised, like. The prosecutors might have, because he would have been the, the first witness for the prosecutors if he like if they told if, if they actually if he actually told them that he saw Tory shoot and Megan fell. That's that's simple. That's simple. Yeah, right they, they, yeah, they, 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 he would have been the prosecutor's star witness. The defense they, would have been calling him. They, they might not even need Meg, bro. They might not even need Meg on the stand. Sean Kell would have sealed the deal. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Damn, I know I, I got it somewhere, man. With I think Milagro, I think I she I think I played it with, with her when she played Sean Kelly's testimony. I'm gonna drop you the I'm gonna drop you the link right now, though. All right. My friend told me about healthcare.
All right, I'll drop the link. Oh, here you go, right here. I got it. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. All right, I'll drop the link. Oh, here you go, right. All right, yeah. Here's it. Here you go, right here. I got it. Shout out to Milagro. Uh, and I'm using this under fair use as well. All right, here's your copyright disclaimer still up here. I'm using this under fair use. But uh yeah, let me let me drop this so they can hear what she said. Hold on a second. The car, the house, and I see my balcony. And he pointed to his bedroom and then he pointed to the two windows facing the street and like where the sun was and all of that. Uh, or the son's room was and he said you know um then in the balcony right there that i came out on and so i noted that that was a great view in my opinion they said could you tell us if you saw a vehicle when you were walking and he said yeah and they said could you indicate what a vehicle was he said yes so they show him a photo and he literally draws a square that would represent the car and the way that i can describe it to you is that um the car was headed west so going this way and it was up on the curb. You know how you kind of pull up on the curb so you're not in the street? You got to remember these are narrow streets and stuff. So he described the car as being up on the curb pretty much. Okay. They said, um, when you heard the noises and the arguing, then what happened? He said, I looked through the windows and there were two girls. He said, I saw two girls arguing. And uh, he said they were standing next to the car on the right side of the car. So this would be the passenger side of the car and that the doors were open. If we pause right here, is that what Megan or Kelsey said happened? And that is where your fucking problem lies. Megan said that that boy, as soon as she got out the car, Kelsey said when she got out the car, no sooner than she got the car, she heard gunshots. They both fucking lied. Because at the end of the day, this independent witness who is from the UK says that, listen, I looked, I heard arguing, I go, look out the window, can y'all leave? And I, you know, kind of look a little bit more. And um, they fighting. So when did that happen? Miss Bump. I bumped a bitch. Okay. And so, um, when you heard the noise, then what happened? So I looked through the windows and it was two girls. I saw them arguing, standing next to the car on the right side of the car. The doors were open. He said, I opened my doors and I stepped onto the balcony and they started fighting. Mm -hmm. So hair, pulling hair. Hitting each other. Quite violent. Quite violent is what he said. He said, I only saw two girls and then I saw a tall guy get out of the driver's side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said he was in all black and he was, and he was black, okay? Mm -hmm. And he was a larger gentleman. So if we pause right there, pulling hair and hitting and shit. So all of this conversation about Tori whooping her ass and pulling on her neck and that's why your chain broke and that's why you got these scars and that's why you got a patch in your head and your nails broke. They trying to put that on Tori. But this witness saw you and Megan fighting, okay? Kelsey is 4'11", Megan is 5'10". And he said they'll find for a while. Milagrograms at gmail.com if you want to do zero. So um, he said my son came out and I talked to my son. He said, the next thing I saw was the driver intervene, and, and they were all fighting for a while. He said, I told my son, get in my bed. He said, they kept fighting. He said, um, they separated, and that Megan got into, he's describing Megan, so I'm going to say their names as per who I think he was talking about. He said, she got into the passenger side of the mm -hmm. car, and they were still fighting. They said, she, she just kept kicking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I imagine her ki just kicking Kelsey, kicking Kelsey. He said, all I was seeing was her legs kicking her. And um, they said, for how long? He said, I don't know, several minutes, several minutes. He said, I was still on the balcony. He said, and nothing was in my way. Like I could I could see them. He said, I could see them from the top. I wasn't looking directly at them out of eye, but I could see them, basically. Um, they said, did one female leave? He said, no. He said, I saw one girl go to the car, and then I saw what I thought was fireworks. Mm -hmm. But now I know that it was a muzzle flash. So that's what he said. He saw a muzzle flash. They said at the same time, um, at, at the same time, he said, Tori got out and was yelling. He said he got out and um, as they yelled and then all four of them was right there. And he kept saying this was happening so fast. It was happening so fast. Mm -hmm. So he said he got out of the passenger side of the car. This was the side he said Tori got out. He said, then I saw flashes. I saw gunfire. He said that he had spoken to police about three times, and the first time was that day. He said it was a lot of cops that he spoke to, and he spoke to a sergeant, the DA, and the investigator, and then a prosecutor's investigator. They said, you saw the muzzle flash? He said, yes. And then they said, where? He said, I saw the muzzle flash closer to the girls. They said, is that the same lady that you saw fighting the one um, who the flash went off by? 
Yeah. They said, and, and she was just kicking, 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 kicking. He said, I heard the gun go off and they were still fighting. He said, eventually the girl, and this is what they said. He said, the girl that got beat up crawled and went across the street. Mm -hmm. So if everybody that thinks that Kelsey got beat the fuck up, baby, that is not what the man from London said. He <laughs> said that, uh, baby girl, big ass, she didn't got beat the fuck up. So they said, did you hear dance bitch? He said, no, he did not hear that. They said, you were interviewed about who had the gun. And um, you, they, you were asked, you know, how many people had it? He said, two people had the gun. That's what he said. He said, who had it initially? Mm -hmm. He said, the girl. I only saw flashes from the girl, but they was all fl fighting. Who was fighting with the other dude. Okay. And then, uh, and I'm going to put the camera on the ceiling later on here so she can tell y'all. But well, when I get through, she can give y'all her perspective. Um, After the flash, they said Tori was shouting. And um, everybody was fighting. It was just making a lot of noise. They said, did you see the gentleman run to her? And he said, no, nah, he ain't run. He got out the car. And so, um, you know, that he kind of walked over there. He wasn't running like that. So there was a couple of objections. And they felt like the defense was leading him. So he had to rephrase his questions. They said, did you say that the person who the muzzle flash went off by was the one with the gun? And they showed him his statement. And he said, yes, that's what I said. They said, who did you describe the shooter to be? When you spoke with everybody, he said one of the girls. They said, "Did you see the shorter guy do anything with the girl who was shot?" And then, did you get an answer to that question? Because they moved on. Uh, they, because it was a whole bunch. When I tell you, the prosecution was like, "Objection, objection, objection." They end up asking him, "Did you see the shorter guy try to take the gun away after the female?" Then I do shooting? have it right. He yeah. said yes. Perfect. So, um, so when they said, uh, "Did you see him do anything with the girl who got shot?" There was an objection. And so he rephrased the question. He said, didn't you say that the shorter guy tried to take the gun from the girl? He said, yes. They said, then the flashes came from him. Mm -hmm. So I want to remind you guys of how it sounded when they played those gunshots. It went like this. Pop, 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 pause, pop, pop. From day one, when we heard that shit, I said, you know what? That sounds like a struggle. Mm -hmm. And now it's starting to align with the fact that somebody fired that weapon and made, there was something, a pause, and it went off two more times. Okay. Um, that is my speculation, obviously. They said, um, then the flashes came from him. He said they were all fighting. So I assumed that it was him who fired the gun. So they read the statement. And he said, sir, did you say that after the female did the shooting that um, the guy tried to take the gun? This man said, it's my turn to talk. Okay. And he said, child, let me tell it. He didn't got aggravated, child. <laughs> and so they said, look, who started the shooting? He said, the girl. Plain as day, the girl. They said, did you realize um, that it wasn't a firearm? Is that what you have? Did you realize that it wasn't a firearm? No. I, I know. He said, He said I was thinking and hoped that they were playing with fireworks. Right. And then, that, and did you realize that it was a firearm? He said, yes. He said, do you agree that you called 911? He said, yeah. He said, did you say that there was a gun in a 911 call? He said, I don't know. He said, after talking to everyone, did you say that Kelsey shot every time? And what that means is every time you spoke to anybody, were you telling them that Kelsey is the one who shot? Mm -hmm. Yes, was the answer to this question. Yes, that's what I said. He said, I saw her and then everyone was fighting and the men were breaking up the fight. He said, the bigger guy violently separated them. Mm -hmm. They said, didn't you say that the, that the short guy didn't get out until after the initial shots? He said, she, he said, yeah. So did you see the shorter guy with the gun? He said, Now, don't that make more sense to y'all? She said, oh, uh, Quan came and picked me up like a dog, this, that, and other. Tori's trying to break up the fight. Quan's breaking up the fight. If you look at the bruises, this, that, and the third, between Megan with a knot on her head, Kelsey with the, the, the big-ass footprint on her, on her thigh or whatever it is, like she been kicked. Or whatever, however you look at it, and you listening to this man tell you, the one who sat there and watched it, the one who sat there and watched the whole thing, the whole fight. What I said, he said, I saw her, and then everyone was fighting, and the men were breaking up the fight. He said, the bigger guy violently separated them. They said, didn't you say that the, that the short guy didn't get out until after the initial shots? He said, she, he said, yeah. So did you see the shorter guy with the gun? 
He said, yeah, well, I didn't see a gun. He said, I did not see a gun. So they said after shots uh, were fired, he got out and he was fighting both of the girls. That's what he said. They said, on the date of the incident, did you go downstairs when the police came? Mm -hmm. He said, yeah. He said, I spoke to the police about 15 to 20 minutes after the incident, and, and they kept asking him, were you being truthful? He said, yeah. He said, you said um, the two women were fighting, and the man separated them, right? Mm -hmm. he, he said, yes. So they go to the bench to talk. They come back. They said, when you spoke to officers, you were being honest, right? He said, yeah. And he said, I saw the girls fighting, and I saw the girl with a gun. Let me stop right here and just say, he contradicted himself a lot mm -hmm. because how did you see the girl with the gun if you didn't see nobody if you didn't see a gun you understand what i'm saying so it was like child did you see a gun or did you not see a gun but he is adamant about the fact that uh mm -hmm. the girl was fighting and that the girl had the gun first and that Tori was in the car when the gun started going off that's what he said they said did you talk to detective stogner he said yeah they said did you describe the incident he said yeah they said did you tell stogner who was fighting objection he said, I remember speaking to the DA, the sergeant, the officer. And they said, were you being honest when you spoke with them? He said, yeah. They said, who was initially in the fight? They say the girls. And then the driver got out first. And then Tori got out after the shots. And they said, and you told my guy that same thing, right? He said, yeah. They said, who was fighting? The girls. And then they said, who did you initially see with the gun? Who did you, who initially um, had the gun? You saw the girl with the gun, right? He said, yes. They said, and then Tori got out after the initial gunshots were fired to break it up. He said, yes. They said in the driveway, the three of them were beating the girl. Listen to this. They said when Megan crawled over to the adjacent driveway, he said the three of them, that would be Kelsey, Quan, and Tori. He is accusing them of beating Megan to the point where he thought that they would kill her. He, he said that um, he said that Megan was in the fetal position and that the bigger guy said the police coming. He said they picked the girl up. And I thought that they was going to throw her in the motherfucking water. He said, if they would have thrown her in the water, it was 12 to 15 feet deep. And he said, I thought that they were, that's what they was about to do. I thought that they would kill her. But then they put her in the car and drove off. That is why I made the comment about the way that we're viewed. That is why. It sounds like to me they picked her up. And maybe you assume because it was niggas that they was going to throw the bitch overboard and try to kill her. But they went and put her in the car. So what made you think they would throw her in there? Did they walk over there mm -hmm. and try to throw her in there? Or did you just see them pick her up? Okay. So um, they put in the car and drove off. He said... Um, you muted your... Uh, yeah, go ahead. You get to talk. But yeah, you, you hear that, right? So yeah. basically, man, contradicting himself. But I think the prosecutors found like a loophole for Sean Kelly where he doesn't have to perjure himself from the uh, testimony he gave the night of. Basically, he was, he was saying like Kelsey was shooting and Tori was shooting as soon as he got out, but there's only one gun. And if you hear, if you, if you heard the shots, there's no way that you could have just like swapped gun like – it takes a long time. Plus, it was like a double action, a semi-automatic firearm. So it takes like 8.5 uh, pounds of pressure. So shit don't make sense. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that. Let me let me play the gunshots real quick. Hold on.
Now, listening to them shots, you're not going to tell me Tory got out after, if he, this guy's saying the girls are shooting, the girls shooting first, right? You telling me he got out the passage, I mean, the driver's side and ran around that fast to get there for the last two shots? Hell no. Yeah. And the other thing is, Kelsey Meg lied about Tory jumping over from the back seat to the front seat. So he was actually behind Quan. So he had to, since they're fighting by uh, the passenger side, he had to turn, like, he had to circle back, start shooting. You're muted. Hold on, I'm going to play it one more time. The, the weird thing about that audio is why you don't hear nobody yelling, screaming, arguing, fighting, nothing. Yeah, and the other thing is, man, the LAPD just so much nefarious shit that we can't even trust that audio because they could have done some shit to it. Yeah, they could have. It's way too quiet. Where the audio comes from? Yeah, if there's a struggle... They will cut the audio to make to make it look like the shots were consecutive. If there was a struggle, right. since there's BSR on both of them, both Tori and Kelsey, like if you're gonna stick with the audio, that means there's only one shooter. And the fact that um, all this all this bullshit they be saying about oh gunshot gunshot residue will transfer, hell fucking no, not to your hands. It has to be like somewhere other than like like uh, somewhere. Other than your hands, it would transfer probably by a small amount. But if they find if, if they find large amount of uh, GSR on your hand, that means you were close to the gun. Right, very close. And and if Tory's in the, like I don't understand, it don't make I understand Tory having gunshot residue on him because he's in the front seat and the gun is on the floor. Yeah, the the other, the, the only thing that makes sense is. Either Kelsey was shooting all five of them, and um, Tori was just trying to prevent it. He never had the gun. But at the same time, they, like you hear all this shit, Kelsey slipping up saying uh, Tori shot in the air, and um, you know Kelly seeing the the gun in Tori's hands. So a shit show. You're muted. I'm you, Chuck. I, oh, my bad. I, I don't understand why y'all saying y'all didn't hear it. What y'all didn't hear? I played it. Oh, they didn't hear the gunshots, I think. Let me try it again. Hold on. Go to Street TV if you want to hear it. You got it all. Yeah, I got it right here. I just don't know why they ain't hear it. Let me hold on. Let me mute this so y'all get.
Okay, y'all heard it that time? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Heard it. Cool. They got it. But you heard that, right? Yeah, like that's not enough time for him to run around the car and yeah. they go through a struggle for two more shots. It don't make sense. Yeah, and it sounds like a female shooting. Like, <laughs> there's like a delay. Like, I don't know if it's a... Uh, it's because of the gun, the gun type, but yeah, the squeeze. Yeah, and then it, the shots is like, pow, 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 pow. 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 A nigga's it's gonna be good. like, pow, pow, pow. exactly. Like, ain't nobody pow, 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 and you shooting at somebody. Like, she shooting so slow. Like, what is Megan doing with those slow ass shots? Or if he's shooting. She was here. Like, ain't nobody pulling the trigger like this. She was here, dance, bitch, dance out of nowhere. Yeah, that part too. <laughs> That's what's crazy. Like, like real victims don't add no bullshit ass stories like that. That's what caught me off guard. I actually believed it at first, but then I heard that bullshit. I'm like, what? That's something ain't right. Now let, let me let me show something. Let me show something real quick. Hold on. Cause this this right here will give people a better perspective on who they dealing with. Damn, matter of fact, you know what? It's on this page. They're saying uh, you can hear a guy yelling after the shot. Is that what they're saying, Chet? I I I don't hear a guy yelling. I don't hear nothing. Yeah, I don't know where, the, where they're hearing that from. Damn, what's this? What are you looking for? Oh, I got you. This is it. No, hold on. Go back. This is it. Now, this is the, uh, hold on. All right, now this here is when Megan caught a case similar to the same case with Tory Lanez with her ex-boyfriend. And she talks about how the same incident happened, similar, but the dude told the police the truth and she was mad at him and she got arrested, but he didn't he didn't press they they dropped the case because he didn't press charges or whatever. But just just watch this. Check this out. Oh. And I'm using this under fair use. really ready for some bad news about me and it's crazy so anyways and it's so embarrassing <laughs> it's so embarrassing but i'm a real song good so uh <laughs> i saw my fucking ugly ass <laughs> mug shot <laughs> oh my god my mugshot is so terrible. 
it's so horrible but you know it is what it is and sometimes you just really gotta back up what you be about so I was like maybe 19 or 20 and I was in college and I had a real beautiful toxic relationship and <laughs> I had a real bad it was fun but it was bad it was and I had to get out of it but it was like a situation where I was at my South by Southwest and my fucking boyfriend at the time I had just found out that this had had a baby right then and there at the concert bit at the concert like what a way to find out you cheated on you and had a baby like being, and the baby had been born like the baby was here the baby was damn near one so i like snatched the phone and actually i didn't even have to snatch the was just going hard on his phone like typing hard to the, and i'm like who the fuck you texting so i guess he was just tired of lying and he just gave me the phone and i'm looking through the text messages and the text messages was like you and megan i don't give a fuck, you need to come take care of this baby i was like oh so you got a baby like and i was so mad and y'all gotta know my temper is bad i was so mad that i had to just try to collect myself and walk away so i'm trying to walk away and my boyfriend at the time was really not trying to see me go so i'm walking away and this pulling on me and pushing on me and whatever like i said it was toxic it was fun at the time but it was very toxic but i was young and i thought that toxic it was cute but it's not don't let them put their hands on you and don't put your hands on because i'm not gonna say that i wouldn't put my hands on him because when he got out of line i was wrapping his ass up but that on that ain't come that ain't come at no little cute price so anyway i'm and he and i was really trying to keep the peace trying to keep the player because we was in a public environment so i'm i tried to walk away then pulling on me and pushing on me then take my phone throw it on the ground stomp on that stomps on my phone and listen i'm tall i'm five ten my at the time was six nine okay so just picture that so my take my phone throw it on the ground stomp that out i'm trying to call my friends i can't call nobody i'm trying to call jayla so take my phone somebody call the police because they see me and getting into it so y'all gotta know it's taking everything out my being not to really steal off on this in the middle of the street he tried it really one too many times because you only got so many times to push a real bit <laughs> so the n had it coming it just so happened that when i was ready to give it to him <laughs> the motherfucking police pulled up when i'm punching <laughs> so the motherfucking police jump out the car ma'am 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 um why oh god i just found out this had a baby now the police are here and now it looks like i'm the aggressor and now like i just look like the mother bad guy so the police is like ma'am what's going on are you okay da, da, da. and i'm like no he just had a baby i just found out he cheated on me da, da, da. and my boyfriend he mad he mad he mad da, da, da. Megan, shut up da, da, da. so i'm a real to the teeth to the heart to the core the police officer asked me, did he hit you? I look rough, my weave to the side, my shirt jacked up, my pants dirty because he's been pushing me. So me being the real that I am, the strong black queen trying to hold it down for my black king, I say no, officer, he didn't hit me because I don't want him to go to jail. Then the mother laws asked that, did he hit me? I mean, the laws asked that. Did I hit him? Then he said, yeah, he hit me. She hit me in the eye. Da, 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 da. Oh, like, like he really gassing it. Like this said, yeah, she hit me in the eye. But you got to know they sent me straight to jail. Them cuffed me. I ain't never been cuffed in my life. Like I ain't never had no handcuffs on me. Never in my mother life. So I'm sitting there on the side of the curb thinking to myself, I'm finna go to jail. Like, I'm I'm gone. Like I'm going to prison. Like I didn't put my hands on this outside. He out here lying on me. So my had a baby. Ben had the baby. Baby been here. I ain't know nothing about it. Just found out about it 
20 minutes ago. Now I'm in cuffs. Now I'm finna go to jail. My I don't care. So they put me in the back of that car. Oh, it smelled like pee. It was like a bench in the back seat. It wasn't even seats. It was a bench. So I'm in the back and I'm like, I gotta call my mama. Like when I get to jail, I gotta call my mama. Mama, if I would have told my mother mama that I was going to jail behind this, she would have drove to me and beat my. I don't. I was scared, so I didn't tell my mama. So I'm in the back seat of the mother cop car crying. I'm bawling my mother eyes out. I ain't never been this sad in my life. Cause I ain't never been in jail. I ain't never had no criminal history, criminal record. I ain't never did. I ain't, I ain't stole a pack of gum. So I'm in the, <laughs> I'm in the back seat of the car and I'm like, what do I do? Like, who do I call? I should call my grandma. When I get to the jail bed, they told me to take off all my clothes. I had to take off all my clothes. I had to take off my belly ring. I had to take off my goddamn piercing right here. And I don't take off my belly ring for nothing. The police made me take my belly ring off. So I'm in there crying, bawling. I'm about to die. I'm so sad. I can't believe I'm in jail. So then they put me in this ugly black and white jump. So I'm like, this really jail, jail. So I get in this hole and I'm like sitting in there with some delinquents and some old bitches. And like, it's a little in there with some pink hair she like yeah what you in here for i'm like my boyfriend just had a baby and and she's like oh girl stop crying you gonna get out and i'm like no because i've never been to jail before like i'm in that pussy. like up the set so i was in jail maybe like two days in that hole sad depressed i ain't never had no depression they keep sliding notes under my door asking me do i want to kill myself and i'm like what well, do i want to myself because i don't want to be in here take me to heaven you might as well the love of my life then broke my heart cheated on me take me god just take me i ain't gonna never be the same after this so in the jail that i was in you couldn't even call numbers that was not in that city so guess who the only can call my mother boyfriend so not only do i have to talk to this but now i want to go off because you done had a baby you done had a baby on me, you bitch. So we on the phone and we arguing. We're not even talking about how to get me out of jail. We arguing because I just found out that you had a baby and you sent me to jail. So he crying. We both crying. And I'm like, you got to call my grandma. Like, we can't call Holly because if we call Holly, we all. So I get out of jail after them two miserable days. And guess where my super go to the house? All my shit over there. The law is asking him, do he want to press charges on me? On me? <laughs> you want to press charges on me? So not only was my boyfriend, and, and it was all stupid. He was like, I only did that one time. I don't even know how this happened. Da, da, da. I'm like, one time? You the one time and she got pregnant? You the one time she got pregnant? And she cussing me and you out in text messages. I don't know about that. But, I mean, we was young. I, you know, play us up. I had loved that. Oh, I loved it with my whole body. I went to jail. I, hey, I did. I, I hit him. I did. I, I had to hit him. He was pushing me, so I pushed him. And the laws caught me. So I had went to jail, and that's what happened. And I mean, you know, eventually I had broke up with him because he said it wasn't his baby, but then it come to find out it was. So I had to just, you know, I had to get out of that toxic situation. <laughs> but once I love somebody, I'm stuck with them. I got to keep with them. Like if you want to be, you want to be for life. But I ain't been like that with nobody since then because I cannot trust this. A nigga really be in your face for a year with a whole baby born. And it's like, if you can't go to Bella No Chase, then where the hell could you go? Now, Big O, do that sound like the same situation? <laughs> exact same, bro. Even the way how she handled it, not wanting to tell the police the truth, didn't want to call certain people. It's the same thing. But now with the Tory Lane situation, she got experience and know how to handle it. Yeah, she going to snitch on that nigga. Bro, she, she, she waited like three days after the incident to post that statement talking about Someone tried to shoot me with intentional to harm me and shit. Talking about I was protecting. But you weren't protecting that nigga. At all. And it was oh. actually four days. 
three, four, yeah, four days. But at the same time, how long was he in jail for? He was in jail for how long? A, a day. He got bail. Day, right? like so he got out a day. She claimed that uh, she snitched on him because, well, he was manipulating the laws. Social media. With yeah, yeah. So he got out a day after he started doing that shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, yo, wait. Now, here, here, go, here goes some even better information. Check this out. Boom. Check this out. Here's a statement from the boyfriend about that incident she just talked about. Let's get this understood right now before I say what I need. Um, damn, where I put it at? Oh, here we go. All right. Let's get this understood right now before I say what I need. Karim York doesn't support abusing women nor abusive relationships. It's effed up that I felt like I couldn't come out and defend myself solely off of public perception. Thankful that Joe Button brought this to light. I chose to be quiet throughout this time when someone was putting out a certain narrative about me, and today is the last day for that. I'm not doing any name calling, but why I support lies? The night all this happened, this person was on drugs. Zans to be exact, that's Xanax. I got my ass beat in capital letters. I got my ass beat that night, but I'm being pictured as an abuser on the internet. I don't know how many times that woman put her hands on me with multiple witnesses there to see, but not one time did I hit her. I've had a gun pointed at me with the intentions of being shot and because of what? A window? A lot of events transpired, but I didn't say it. I ain't say ish to nobody, not even to my family when they asked what happened to my face and neck. It's weak that women try to de demonize black men like we not already going through enough in America. I do realize toxic relationships aren't good for anyone. And if you stay in one, it can be detrimental to your physical and mental health. Furthermore, for anybody who has my name in their mouth speaking on my situation that you only heard one side of, please feel free to contact me via DM or text since uh, mother efforts want to be passive aggressive towards me. Karim York is, isn't taking accountability for something Karim York didn't do. P.S. Me and Megan still friends. Now that's the guy. Which is now? What do, what do you say to that in, in, in regards to the incident she just talked about? If I was the defense, if I was Tori's lawyer, I would have interviewed that guy. He would. He might have. He might be a, a witness, a character he, witness. He should be a character witness. Yeah, uh, they need yeah. to go and get the 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 the, the uh, police cam and test any on that that incident where she when the police pull up. And she got arrested. She was in jail for two days. They should be touching on that case. She would have been. She would have been the drug tested. If, like he said, uh, she was she was on drugs and shit. If they drug tested her, they could use that too. Yeah, they didn't drug test her. They ain't check her for uh, GSR. They didn't check her for fingerprints. Oh, I'm talking about the where she beat up her boyfriend. He said she was on drugs when she was beating up. Like she was taking Zans and shit. Yeah. They get done. They get done. Um, I don't know, bro. They, they kind of dropped the ball, bro. Yeah, they they did they. They didn't do a lot of research, you know. Well, even, been... even that video right there. If they would have played that for the jury, the jury would be like, "Oh, this girl is crazy." Exactly. Tori's driver should have been. Tori's driver should have went ahead of Sean Kelly, because if he said the right shit, prosecutors wouldn't do no. 
the fair shit in the back talking about say this, say this. Right. All right, bro. You you got anything you want to add? Uh no, nah, man. I just appreciate your coverage of this, man. There's a lot right, of where you from, man. You sound like you from out the country. Um, I'm in Texas. Oh, you're in Texas? All right. All right, bro. Just come back anytime, man. You're welcome. All right, appreciate it. All right, one. So now when y'all when y'all see that she been through this before and I had an experience in jail, you don't think she was scared to death to go back to jail? Y'all didn't think that? Y'all not curious to why she don't talk to Kelsey no more? And Kelsey was her best friend living with her, working for her, lived with her, and she never got to see Megan again to this day, except for in the courtroom. Like I said, I, this is my last time talking about this. I ain't, I, you know, if y'all yeah, want to continue to be smart dummies, go ahead with your du smart dummy degree. But all you out there with common sense, what sense do this make? Just tell me, what sense do it make? None, exactly. Goodbye, good night. <laughs> Yeah. Back to selling crack and stashing them packs in my <laughs> Hey yo, uh, shout out to P, PA. I ain't gonna say your last name, P. Thanks for uh, thanks for your morals, integrity, and principles. Oh, I think it's some. I can't see the whole message. Let's see. Oh, case is the last word. Yo, you're welcome, P. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Much love. Shout out to my girl, Cookie. Cookie, what up? Thank you, Cookie. What sense is this making, y'all? Someone said, check your Instagram DM. It's a recording. Hold on, let me see. They said, look, who started the shooting? He said, the girl. Plain as day, the girl. They said, did you realize um, that it wasn't a firearm? Is that what you Did you realize that it wasn't a firearm? Yeah, I played this already. Uh, whoever who sent this. He said. The, you know, yeah, we just we just finished I, playing I, I, this. I think that's wait what is this tory lanes listed his album at yeah i'll be sending me all kind of stuff she was shooting the gun um Where were you standing at this point at this point i'm standing kind of like my body still was, she was shooting the gun um, Who are you standing at this point? At this point, I'm standing kind of like... Wait. 
Wait, Kelsey said that she was still shooting the gun? Am I bugging out? At this point, I'm standing kind of like my body still. She was shooting the gun. Um, Where were you standing at this point? At this point, I'm standing kind of like my body still. She was shooting the gun. Um, Where were you standing at this point? At this point, I'm standing kind of like my body still. She was shooting the gun. Um, Where were you standing at this point? At this point, I'm standing kind of like my body still. She was shooting the gun. Um, Where were you standing at this point? At this point, I'm standing kind of like my body still. She was shooting the gun. Um, Bro. At this point, I'm. That slipped my goddamn ears, bro. That slipped my ears. Now, did she make a mistake and say Megan shot the gun? Or did she know what the hell she was talking about? Y'all heard that? She was shooting the gun. Um, Where were you standing at this point? At this point, I'm standing kind of like my body still. Was, she was shooting the gun. Um, Where were you standing at this point? At this point, I'm standing kind of. And y'all tell me, get Tori's guilty beyond a reasonable doubt? Bro. Y'all kidding me, right? Wow, yo. I got a friend that tell me, choke, you need to stop saying it, but I'm scared of black women. <laughs> I swear to God. Hey, choke, you scared of your mother? Hey, you scared of your sister? Yo. Yo. <laughs> Woo, baby. I need to go ahead and get married. Because I swear to God, man. Black women are scaring me, yo. They will throw us under the bus because they know the system is quick to take the black man. They don't believe anything coming from any woman or any race, when it's the black man. Did that girl just sit there and say she shot the gun? And y'all didn't test up for DNA. Y'all ain't tested for gunshot residue. Y'all ain't tested for fingerprints. And this girl said she shot the gun? Good night on that note. Shout out to the smart dummies. Stay. Y'all the smart dummies with the smart degrees. Dummies. <laughs> Don't follow those cats. Choke those choke. You already know. Let's go out the gray go. Not pitching in the hood, uh, and I really don't think I could uh, go back to selling crack and stashing them packs in my ass. I maintain weekly money the same, and now nah, I don't go through them games. Niggas testing my brain with them triple beans filled with change. Pot crack, grams in the drain, getting hit with the fake exchange, like baking soda flour after being on Broadway for hours. Getting knocked, being back at start. Uh, niggas testing if I got hard. Yeah. Pushing me to pop some shots. Just stop the ball before the now start. I'm out the game. Old lady with the binocs. Give description to cops. 
Why they try to tear us apart with that good cop, bad cop? I ain't going for the game, he ain't tell you a thing. Your partner's with him, saying the same. You tighten them cuffs till you see veins. Stop fucking yanking them down. Now I'm out the game. They might fuck you if you ain't sane. And nigga never sniff cocaine. And I don't care what game or part of the area you claim. Now I'm out the game. Gray Scarface, you must be insane. Nigga, Tony fucked the boy's dame. His right hand man, he's slain to get his back blown out the game. Or came. Do it on the low, let nobody know. No pillow talk to home. And if he step on your toes, don't bust a blame. Cause everybody will know. Or get out the game. They say that change is good. Uh-huh. It's a lot of stress in the hood. And I know if you could, you would. Get out the game, but you stuck in that time. Where the nigga public like shine For a witness to drop a dime For self-defense Do it die Celebs doing time Mike Vick on the chow line Even Kobe Jason Williams Gage Kick like Shinobi Little Kim for perjury uh, You know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, right? Let's go When it's late night Make sure it's packed tight. And when you take those flights, never eye the Jake in sight. And shake them fuckers when they dead to right. Uh, Make it a fifth go rumble. Because of stick of trouble. Blasting your gap for a cat. For in fact, with some crap that don't involve you. For some dudes that don't love you. All they want to do is pawn you. Until you go down. And don't do shit for you when you lock down. When you touch down, uh, but it tell you to go to the pound. The same block that gave you a pound. Years in the pen, now you living again. What my state are you in? When you back it for 10. And you was just waiting for a team to come home to relive it again. Entrapment should be a sin. The way they reel us in. We'll roll us to a revolving door to bring us in. This shit is insane. The game is insane. The game will fuck with your brain. That's why I'm out the game. Yeah. Just get out the game, man. I know they told y'all there's only two ways out. Jail and death. Nah, just get out, nigga. Just get out, man. It's easy. Just walk away, nigga. If they care about you, they'll let you go. If you in the game and you want to go and get a better life and they won't let you walk away, what do that say? Get out the game, nigga. You want to sleep easy, nigga. Look at these rap niggas, nigga. You want to be the next rapper, trapper, clapper, federal indictment rapper. Keep telling y'all niggas, man, get out the game, man. Joke, no joke. Grego, you already know. The beast is chemical, baby. That's why I'm out the game. T. Jones, you trying to get my attention? What's up? Meg, the one with the domestic violence charges, not Tory. (laughs) It's the liar. (laughs) Yo, y'all tripping, boy. Miss LaCroix, you was a little behind. I see you caught up. Now you understand why both women, especially Meg, deny the fight happened. It establishes motive. Facts. One foot, two feet, she lied from day one. Because it's how many now? One foot, now they took bullets out of both feet. Boy, I'll tell y'all, this this, this is an ugly situation. And fellas, y'all better know that. Sisterhood, 
Well, get your ass locked up. They still mad at each other, but they'll still throw the nigga under the bus. They fought each other and threw the nigga in jail, yo. Even though they don't talk to each other, they don't hang with each other, they don't mess with each other no more, they still sent the dude to jail, yo. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Fellas, be careful the women you pick. Be careful the women that you pick, man. I'm gone. Uh. This go out all to right, all the PJs go. around the world. Eat a wall. Nah, we go. Sound back, 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 back. Niggas and guns. Let's go. Choke, no joke. It's for all the projects in the world. Adults are crack. Uh -huh. We feed them too. We don't pump like that. Plus, it's like us giving back. And they sales is the reason why we got so many packs of chicken. The hood not missing. Muslims said don't put pork on chicken. They got on Al about that. They thought he didn't listen. He wasn't been touched from them government missions. But they forget that when they bite that chicken. This is when the players get knocked. Cause it's hot out. The sexy show out. Glowing with the back glass on the mouth. She see you with the next chick, then she dumb out. Hustlers dumb out, just for nothing. Busting for attention, just dumbing. Cause we know y'all ain't busting nothing. Life's a box of chocolates, you're riding a pipe, playing the bench, kids on the fence, watch your popo, chase prince, don't dismiss your brethren, for dumb shit, keep it gangster, no shit where you live, 12 one right up in your crib, you never been nowhere, where else could you live, what's that, that's gangster boo coming through, throwing it up, fucking his muffler up, scraping the concrete with Willie. He got his scores by the chief of police from 233rd, Laconia to Gun Hill Road. Got knocked in, tell like Joe.